Trophy King Junk back again with yet another attempt at a nail review. The one I'm going to review just now is one from my past, basically. It's a Courage, and it's a Director's Ale, 4.8 on a Richter scale. This is one I have drank about 100 years ago. There used to be a pub in Glasgow. Well, it wasn't a pub, it was a hotel. Up uh, Langside called uh, Bothell Castle, I'm nearly sure it was called. And it was my very, very first uh, experience of hand pulled deals. And I always remember going in and having a go at a director's. I had about four pints of it and I actually quite enjoyed it. Uh, but I hear all sorts of things. It's been bought over and the recipe's changed and it's not the beer it was. So I'm going to have a little review of it. I uh, got this in my local supermarket. It was only about just over a quid for it, which the beer has got. Well, it's, it's got a, a good name. Apparently, it was only brewed by Courage uh, for the directors. That's why the name, uh, why it's called the directors. It was basically only for them, and then they decided to roll it out to the bars, and uh, obviously when the bottles and cans and everything came. It started going into that. Well, it was mostly bottles, really. But here we go. Here's a pour. Put it in my Great British Beer Festival glass. 2011. Actually, sitting quite nicely. I just reviewed a beer there earlier on, and I, I did the exact same thing that I uh, did with the directors. I just basically left it on the shelf in the kitchen with a window open, you get the cold night air coming in. It's give the, the, the beer just a, a nice little tinge of uh, chill. And everything seems to be sitting nicely in the glass. It looks actually quite nice. A uh, nice big fluffy uh, white head on it. So anyway, we'll go in for a nose of the directors. 4.8 on a Richter scale. See what it's all about. First what's coming up to meet you is uh, a lovely malty smell. A little bit of a floral hop in there. That's something I really need to brush up on is uh, the hops. The only hops I know are Sars and Cascade. Sars is in Lager and Cascade is that grapefruit bang you get in uh, an IPA. But that's got a kind of floral uh, yeah, floral. A little bit of toffee in there as well. well anyway, it's all about the taste. So Sophie King drunk drinking a Courage Directors. Uh, I think it's... I can't remember, but I'll check it a minute. I'm nearly sure it's Wales and Young that do this now. But anyway, always be a Courage one to me. Slangy Var, let's see what it's all about. Firstly, it's very, very thin, very thin on the mouth, but it has a little bit of flavour in there. There's a little bit of toffee, a little bit earthy, an earthy note coming through there as well. A little bit of nuts, nutty sort of uh, background in the back, and obviously if it's in the background. And it's got a kind of dry biscuity snap at the, at the end as well. Probably likes a coming from the nuts. To be honest with you, the nuts. It's not nut. There's no nuts in it. But you know what I mean. This sort of nutty earthiness. It's got that kind of dry biscuit, a uh, biscuity malt sort of uh, taste in the background. It's an okay beer. It's not the way I remember it, drinking it in cask eh, all those years ago in the Bothwell Castle Hotel in Glasgow. Eh, it's not the way it was, but it, it's not bad. It's not offensive for the price. I think just about a quid, one twenty-five maybe a bottle. It's actually unoffensive. You could drink a few of them. 
It's the sort of beer is that as I would like to say you would put a cooking whiskey, uh, drink it with a cooking whiskey, maybe like a blended scotch or something like a white Mackay's or something. You just wanted a little beer to nurse a couple of whiskeys with. This would be perfect for that. It's inoffensive. It's not going to spoil the taste of your beer. Uh, to be honest with you, it's it's okay. It's not the way I remember it. Well, I'll get my eye furniture on. Actually, I did. I'm not sure of who makes it now. Let's see if it's got anything in the back. Uh, Courage Superior Ale, established 1787. The directors Courage. Uh, does it say who brews it? Originally, recently brewed from. Da -da -da -da. Hmm. Yeah, that does say something the the perfect balance of crystal malts, crisp, fruity, nutty hops and a lasting finish. Oh I've got the nutty hops. So crystal malt. Hmm. Learned something new. But it doesn't tell me who makes it or brews it now. I want to say Wells and Young's. Uh or yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Wells and Youngs. Anyone out there knows who, who brews this now, please leave a comment below. So anyway, the directors, is it one I'll drink again? Yes, it would be one I'll drink again, but as I said, maybe with a cooking whiskey on the side. I'm going to give it a Sophie King drunk rating of... I'm going to give that a 6.5 out of 10. So if you've had the directors before, you liked it, you didn't like it, drop a line below. And if you stuck to the end of the video, I thank you for that. I salute you for that, sir, madam. And hopefully Sophie King Drunk will catch you on another beer review. Ciao for now. Keep drinking good beers.